Hello everyone, this is a Spectrum DX6i and this is essentially the transmitter I learned how to fly on. It was my first programmable transmitter and I even oh so tastefully painted it this metallic blue back when my tastes were a little bit different. And in this video we're actually going to be fixing this thing, so let's start tearing this thing apart. So you may be wondering, why am I bothering to fix such an old transmitter? Well, I actually have some projects in mind where I'd like to have two functioning transmitters running at the same time. I don't need a lot of channels, I don't need long range, and I don't need quick responsiveness. So this old Spectrum transmitter is actually perfectly adequate for those projects. And my current transmitter is also Spectrum. So it would be nice to just keep everything in the Spectrum ecosystem for my own convenience. So it's going to give me far from the maximum performance, but I don't need it. And this is way cheaper to just slap a couple parts in this old transmitter. So what's wrong with this old DX6i? Well, the antenna is snapped at the hinge. I've glued it back together very poorly a couple of times, and it's just time to replace that antenna entirely. And the biggest problem is that when you turn the scroll wheel, it just jumps through the menus or doesn't move at all in the menus and it makes this thing impossible to program and essentially useless because of that. So what actually happens is the rotary encoder slowly goes bad over time and that needs to be replaced. I figured out what the encoder part number is and ordered two of them from DigiKey, one extra in case I messed one up during the install and unsoldered the old one and soldered in the new one. I installed the new antenna, which took me a comically long time to get it oriented correctly, but I did get everything back together. there was a screw missing from some point in this transmitter's history, but I turned it on and it actually didn't work 100%. Sometimes the scroll wheel would slip in the encoder, so I took the whole thing back apart. I added a dab of CA glue on the plastic scroll wheel where it interfaces with the encoder, and that little bit of extra thickness is enough to add more interference, add more friction, to consistently spin the digital encoder itself. So now I have a working transmitter ready to conquer some short range, low channel count projects coming in the future. So make sure you're subscribed so you don't miss those. And let me know in the comments what you thought of this quick little video about fixing some ancient technology. Thanks for watching.